Hi guys, welcome to Trident Woman uh, YouTube channel. Today I would like to do uh, 10 minutes of the sequence that helps to moisturize our spine, helps to start a day, start a practice, start um, uh, any kind of uh, exercise you wish to. Uh, it's a great beginning um, of any activity uh, that protects the, our spine protects our joints and uh, with that said we're gonna start it with a simple rotating your wrists always always rotate your wrists rotate your feet your ankles this is also something um, that is like a balance uh, for you here so we already starting with Moisturizing our joints, moisturizing our bones, moisturizing our body to protect our body. A little bit of a shoulder movements here, shoulder movements there, here, there. And remember about the breath. No matter what we do, you keep on breathing through your nose, you synchronize yourself with the, with the breath through the nose. When we breathe through the nose, we hold that energy for ourselves. When we breathe through the mouth, we're letting the energy out. So just a couple of uh, warm-ups here. I was already warm up before that because I had my session here before. So let's begin. Begin with the moisturizing the spine on the sling. Taking position number one behind the sling. Sling is behind us. Grab the high handle. As you hold the high handles, your feet are in a one spot. This one is a really nice one uh, because I always use it on my session to show everybody how easy it is to do things fast and how difficult it is to do things slow. So we're gonna do first three circulations of the whole body, it's called 360, um, to the right and then towards the left. So here's the right. Spinning here, you're letting your body fully go. Each part of it, three times towards the right. Now we're gonna do three times towards the left. So remember, shoulders are low, chest is open, three times towards the left. It doesn't matter if the sling comes at you. You see, it's very easy and goes fast. Awesome. Once when you're done here, always remember, shake it off your hands. You can always rotate your wrists between whatever is necessary. Now, we're gonna do this slowly. So, holding the high handles. First, we're bending our knees, straightening them up, chin away from the chest, looking up. Now, you're moving towards the right side. You can bend your right, you see, it's already pushing me towards the back. Really have to stay strong here and do this slow. This is the challenge here. You feel the stretch of the right side as you hold in it. You slowly go up here on the left as well. Then exhale, chin towards the chest. Then other side. You hold in here. One you can be bent, can be both straight. Whatever is needed and you're trying to really push it that left hip down so you feel the stretch on the left side. And come on back towards the center. Always shake it off your hands, shake it off your hands. When we did the right side, now we're gonna do the left side. Holding the high handles again, left side. Bending your knees. Inhale, chin away from the chest, opening up your chest, really stretching here, pushing with your toes forward. Now towards the left. I always like to bend this, the, the leg that I am on the side of, so I'm on the left, so I bend the left leg, right leg is straight. Remember about the breath. And towards the back. Come on 
come back towards the center. Shake it off the hand, shake it off the hand, shake it off the hand. So always. Okay. Now we're gonna do something which is called I call it invisible chair. Some people still hold the high handles. By now you must feel in your hands and your wrists a little bit here. So it's going to be intense, but this is a great one for side of our back. So you're sitting down in the visible chair, you let yourself hang here, and you breathe through the nose. Hold it here, inhale towards the right. It's a beautiful ocean. Three breaths. Come on back towards the center. And come on up. Shake it off your hands, shake it off your hands, shake it off that wrist. You will definitely feel it because you're folding, you're using the strength to fold, and the whole body is stretching. So always remember, shake it off and get your wrist going. Okay, now we're going towards the left side. If you hear any other sound than the ocean or the birds, I always say we treat this as a training. So, down, and towards the left side. Hold it here, three breaths. Go crazy. 
crazy, you can release the foot, bring it up here, whatever feels good. Once when you're satisfied it with this one, at least five breaths, hold the swing to work the chest. Always keep your head down a little bit. And come on back towards the front. So now we're gonna go on our knees show that uh, cat and cow in a little bit lower perspective so you're holding your middle handles okay you are on your knees it's also modification if you cannot do this pose standing you can always do it on your knees very important here is to push your pelvis forward the chest lower down inhale forward and chin towards the chest lower down now you can interlock your fingertips and you can drop your head down so here you're stretching through your shoulders your hands if this is uh, uh, not enough for you here and you don't feel enough of the stretch you can always Roll the sling in front and go with your, with your head down like that. You can come up on your knees and go even this way right here. This one is really intense for your shoulders here, but you need to stretch that part of the body out. Just like a 45 seconds, here, one minute just to cool down. Again, I'm aware this is an intense uh, morning body waking up, but it really works. Always rounding your spine and always head comes as the last. Always, so you bring yourself back to that natural rhythm. And uh, that, would be, uh, that would be it for the simple warming up of your warm up of your spine, lumbar spine, upper body, the three. The three parts of the spine are connected here just by all of this movement and twist and uh, this is a huge 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 help support for any of us uh, because our spine also um, I would say uh, I'm uh, looking for this word shows exactly where we are right so when our bodies moved forward we are more into the future when our bodies lean back we are more into the past when our uh, 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 spine is straight we are right here right now in the present moment and this is where we all are in the heart so one for four deep breath 